Well, we're gonna jump back in on a little taste of B.B. King and give you another groove from B.B. A little short story about B.B. King. Yeah. When I was 11 years old, uh, I thought everybody was asleep, and I got on my bike, I slipped out the window, and I got on my bicycle, and I rode seven and a half kilometers so I could stand at the back door of this little shack and hear B.B. King. And uh, I had a good time there. I, I had a ball. As a matter of fact, one of the guys in the band said, hey, little boy, what you doing out here? I said, well, I want to hear Mr. King. He said, wait, take this money, go down on the corner and get me a six-pack. That's six bottles of beer, a six-pack, right? I said, oh, they're not going to sell me any beer, man. I'm just 11 years old. He said, I'll write you a note. And I stand here, and you tell the lady. So I went and got the beer, brought it back. And they let me inside backstage. And I forgot all about what time it was. <laughs> I stayed there until they hit the last note. Then I got worried. <laughs> got on my back and was trying to get home real quick. Hope everybody was still asleep. Everybody was still asleep but granddaddy. <laughs> granddaddy standing on the porch with his hands on his hip like that. That means I'm going to die. I said, man, I got to think fast. I got to think of something. I said, oh, wait a minute, granddad, before you. First he said, where you been, boy? I said, I was down there listening to Mr. B.B. King. B.B. who? B.B. what? You come on in the house. I'm going to B.B. you. I said, wait a minute, granddaddy. Don't get excited. I said, you remember when you was 11 years old? You did some stupid stuff like this. And he started laughing. Then I, I said, well, I think I got him now. I said, you know, you made mistakes. Everybody make mistakes. When you was 11 years old, you did some crazy, stupid thing like that. Give me a break. And he kept laughing. He said, well, you get on in there and get in the bed. And he's still laughing. And I didn't get the whooping. He had the leather strap ready, but he spared my life. <laughs> so this is a tribute to Mr. B.B. King. And uh, this one's entitled The Thrill is Gone. We hope you like the way we're going to do it for you. Yeah. 